Hey guys, welcome back to another Geek Time. Yes, I am not wearing my hat today, and yes, I have done a Corona haircut. I think it looks okay, but I can't wait to go back to the barbers and get it sorted. But anyway, like I said, we are still on lockdown at the moment, even though things are easing up and some shops are reopening. Some people, like myself, aren't 100% happy to be going back into different shops and things like that just yet. But I am missing a lot of things like bubble tea. So I found this online and you can actually do it from home. Now this pack did cost £10 and it is enough for four drinks. It comes with one syrup and one popping juice balls or jellies, but it is only those you can get. I also bought the cups separate, but I didn't get any straws. So the cups were 50p and the delivery was 3 95 so a total of £15 in with everything together but i don't have to buy the cups anymore i will just wash these and reuse them but if i wanted to get another one it would be another 10 pounds for a pack of four or i can pick the juices or the candies the jellies or the green tea but it's a good starter pack the 10 pound one i think it's a company called manhua cha i hope i uh, pronounced that right just pop a comment if I didn't and tell me how to say it properly. But all the links will be in the description below on how to do it. It does come with a really simple step-by-step -step guide, which we're gonna go through now as well. But we're gonna teleport back and actually go from the unboxing of it and take you through those step-by-steps to create this drink. And then what do I think about it? Wait until the end. Okay, we're gonna start with unboxing it. So I have already opened it. I've had a little look at a few things, but I haven't unpackaged them. So I just wanna show you guys what comes in. So it's a nice size box and then you open it up and then it comes with the instructions, which we shall go through um, as we're going through making it. So it's got lots of these like little what's it things. Um, it was like, more up on here when I actually had it and then it is all in this bubble wrap and they got the nice little stickers and things here it says refrigerate juice balls and jellies immediately so as soon as you get it you should open it up and check it straight in the fridge so this is the syrup and the jellies in here so it's nicely packaged Okay, see so here we are, that's my apple fruit tea syrup. And then I got these strawberry uh, bubbles at the bottom. So I just can put them to the side. And then also you have the green teas uh, with them, the jasmine green tea. There's four sachets there. And I paid again uh, for the cups, uh, just to make it a little bit more um, authentic bubble tea and then also the free fortune cookie so that's pretty nice and that is literally all it's in the box but very well packaged I believe so let's carry on and let's make one so what you're gonna need is 250 milliliters of hot water not boiling just hot from the tap and that's about half a pint in there and you're gonna need a cocktail shaker or two large glasses. And you're gonna need some glasses to actually put in the drink later. You got the syrup and your jellies, or as I've got the popping juice balls. You're gonna need the jasmine green tea, some ice cubes, something to stir it all with. And I've got this little tea strainer because you need to strain this syrup out from the balls when you're picking it all up. So I'm gonna give this a little try to see if that will help strain all the stuff out of there. So let's give it a go. Okay, so we're gonna follow these instructions to the letter. Um, so I will be looking down at this quite a lot so let's have a look brew one green tea bag 
in 250 milliliters of hot, not boiling water for one to two minutes. So let's pop that in there now. Oh, and it's got one of these nice little things. You can just pop that in. Get in. Oh, well, that's not going very well. Let's just help it down a bit. There we go. Okay. So that's going to brew for one to two minutes. So with a bit of movie magic, we're going to cut this to it being brewed. Ready? Three, two, one. And there we go. It is nice and brewed, I think. So we're just gonna squeeze out any excess water from the tea bag and then pop that to one side. Next thing to do, it says, once the tea is brewed, transfer the tea into a cocktail shaker or large glass. So let's do that. There we go. And then it says to add 50 milliliters of the fruit syrup to the hot tea and stir well. So I've put out 50 mils there. So that goes in. Make sure it all goes in there. And then give it a good stir. Next then, it says add ice to the, the bubble tea and mix well until the drink is icy cold. There should be some ice cubes floating in the drink. Now it doesn't say how many ice cubes to put in, so let's go with one and two. Oh! <laughs> Guess he wants those two in there. And oh, come on, I want to pop this one out. Three. Let's go with five. It's a magic number. Oh, six. Not quite a magic number, but there we go. So we're going to pop this on. And this, now, this is where I seal this and it goes all over me. <laughs> So there you go, seal tight that down too. Oh, it's coming out. Don't shake so hard. So yeah, I highly recommend if you're gonna do this, actually have a proper cocktail shaker, not a free gift when you buy absolute pears. Bought that age, well, probably like a decade ago and first time I've ever used it okay so there we go that is mixed I do believe that is icy cold but we shall see I'm gonna seal that back up properly I'm gonna pour it out properly like a proper cocktail shaker all right I've made a mess but now well let's put those teas over there all right next we're gonna pop open these strawberry popping balls and it says let's take a cup first drain two flat tablespoons of your topping from the syrup and add them to your serving glass I'll use my serving glass and so he wants two tablespoons now this is nowhere near a tablespoon so we're just gonna go with the flow I'm making sure I'm not going to pop any of them. There we go. So that's one there. I'm only going to do two of these as well, I think. Maybe three. Yeah, why not? Let's do three. Let's do a little bit of three. Two and a half. Two and a half. There we go. That'll do. Two tablespoons. I don't think that's going to be enough for four glasses. Two teaspoons, maybe. There we go, so that is in, and then pop that down. That needs to now go in the fridge, and you've got two weeks to actually use all that it recommends. Put that away. And then pour your fruit tea over the topping. All right. Pop 
sound. <laughs> Alright. Okay, and there we have a bubble tea. Doesn't look as bright and energetic as you would get from the shop, but um, is that due to the mixing or what? Or the amount of syrup in it? But I put the amount of syrup it needs to be. Okay, so the final step your bubble tea is ready grab your chunky straw and enjoy now you could get the chunky straws for an extra few pence um, from uh, the shop but i don't want to get plastic straws so i'm going to use one of my metal straws <laughs> um, i don't think it's going to work with these little popping things but um, i'll just drink the drink and then just eat the popping balls later so Let's go get my metal straw. Oh, let's go with it. Yeah, that's not gonna fit up there. <laughs> Definitely won't fit through this thing either. All right, let's have a try of it. Okay, yes. It very much tastes like a bubble tea. So that's a win. That is a total win. You can make them from home, guys. There we go. So that's a fantastic little drink you can do yourself at home for a fraction of what it would be at the shop as well. So yeah, definitely recommend one of these. So I, oh, I want more. Yes, definitely. So it is definitely worth picking up one of these. You can get lots of different flavors of the syrups and the well, popping candies or the jellies and things like that. We leave a link in the description if you are interested in picking up one of these. I might actually get another one just to try a different flavor. It's like I wasn't too sure what it was going to be like, but yeah, it is pretty nice. You are putting a lot of syrup into this glass, so I highly recommend you just drink responsibly with it and not have it all the time but yes definitely on that one i'm going to finish this and enjoy it so until next time 